when we first started coming to DSAIA. We were one of those groups with a very low budget, but we had a very committed group of board members that just wanted to absorb as much as they could. DSAIA really provided that. There's all these great organizations, but we didn't talk to one another, and AIA provided that meeting space Therefore, we could learn from each other from best practices, and, and that was the whole point of AIA, was to get affiliates to be at a higher operating level by skipping those steps learned from other organizations already. It's mind-boggling. All the information that I'm going to take back today is just the second day, and I already have so much wonderful information to share. Being a part of DSAIA as a member, the feeling that I have that I can just call any other member and say, what should I do with this situation, what's your take on this, is invaluable. It's benefited Eric because it gives him an outlet to meet other people, a different type of support than our local Down Syndrome Association. So every Down Syndrome affiliate has such an opportunity to reach more parents, and by being a strong organization, that's how you do it. What do our families need? Where are the gaps, and how can we position ourselves to help fill the gaps? And so we focused on programming evidence-based, replicable models that we can deploy and pilot out of the headquarters and rapidly get them out into our communities. When you talk to a group that comes to you and says, I watched this webinar and we changed the way we did this program or we created this program and I want to tell you what this young man with Down syndrome said about it or what happened with this young lady with Down syndrome and how her life changed because of this program, that's when it hits you that there really is a direct connection in what DSAIA does and, and the individual with Down syndrome in the local community. You can tend to feel like you're on an island as you're working remotely and you're, you're just, you know, me, myself and I, just knowing that I have a, a quick phone call or website away from all of these answers. I think when you're in a Down syndrome association affiliate, there's a huge wealth of knowledge that you can tap into. But at the end of the day, that doesn't give you the time you need to really research programs or figure out how you can launch new programs effectively. That's the beautiful thing about the Down Syndrome Affiliates in Action because there are so many resources between the webinars and the speakers and just the institutional knowledge that help you take your own organization so much further. Uh, DSAIA really functions as a collaborative pool of innovation and ways for us to network as leaders out there in the community. One very clear-cut example was a medical outreach program. Through the materials in the repository and then direct connections with the other groups, we walked out of that conference with a toolkit. We did not have to recreate the wheel, customize it for our group, and within a month or so we hit the ground running. We're seeing boards that are using our consulting service to be able to you know, change their direction or make sure that their new board members are trained and that have the resources that they need. The phone is, rings and we're right there to help.